reactions. It's Monday morning. Hi, Z's here. We always get this thing out early on Monday morning. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hi, Z, how was your weekend? Absolutely wonderful. Cubs, Cubs fam, everyone out there. It has been amazing as always. Hope you well. Have a great week. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we've been having some fun last week. Uh, with uh, conquests and other bits and pieces. It's been a heck of a lot of fun. Lots of conquest content um, and more marquee characters coming. Apparently, six more marquees coming. We're going to talk a little bit about that. What are the next Mandalorian heroes going to be in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? We got five for you on our list that we think are very, very likely. And then also, we're going to give hard mode a review. Uh, is it enough? Is it good enough? Uh, how, how does this land with uh, different areas of the community? We're going to talk about that uh, now that we have the full scope of uh, CG's vision of Conquest. But before we get into that, Heinze, we always got a meme of the week, right? Of course. Bring it. Let's have a look. Let's check it out, buddy. Uh, so speaking of hard mode, we're talking about the hindered movement feat. <laughs> Five points uh, for removing uh, at least 700 turn meter from your enemies and it's called the guessing simulator the game and here's the reaction <laughs> <laughs> it is brutal <laughs> have you done this feat i don't even okay. attempt this feat okay so i think it's a great idea to put a turn meter reduction feat when you go up against a team with only two people you can actually remove turn meter from uh, uh yeah. It is bizarre. And, um, and just tr really trying is. to figure out where you're at. Like, how do I even conceptualize if I'm at 650% turn meter versus 699% turn meter versus yeah. 700? Like, it's just almost impossible. I just, yeah, yeah. I've, this to I've me is not very, worth my time. No, no, I found it really difficult. Look, to be honest, I, I didn't, I didn't complete that feat. Um, yeah. Good news is you don't need to to get yeah. the red crate. I've got the red crate without doing it. So there is a bit of leverage there. You don't need it to finish it. So and don't we'll see stress. if I can get there. I'm not quite at my red crate yet. I'm at the the last crate before it. Um, here I've I've just got another. Uh, I think twenty. Uh, what, what is it called? Key cards. Yeah, the, I cards. call them the Viagra pills. Um, <laughs> that's probably the best explanation, really. Oh, um, I need to so. use uh, my vet smuggle harm for it then. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, no, um, it's yeah, I'm, I'm, I got it done, which is great. We'll, we'll chat a bit more about it a little bit later on, of course, um, in our topics today. But uh, yeah, look, it, it certainly uh, has been a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, I knocked it out today. All right, all right. So okay, good. Well, uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about how we feel hard mode is here in just a second. But first, we got to talk about the next Mandalorian heroes we think are going to come to the game. And let's start with our girl Finnick Shand. Now, this one, um, Finnick is one of two characters on this list where I feel like it makes a ton of sense to bring her to this game right now. But I'm wondering if they're going to wait because she's obviously going to be a central character in the new Bo Book of Boba Fett series coming out later this year. So, Heinze, I'll let you answer the tough question. Do you think that she's going to come now or do you think they're going to wait? I think they're probably going to wait oh. uh, with Benny. I know. Uh, look, no. I'm, I'm really, I'm no. really, I'm really surprised. I am really surprised that she's not in the game yet. I'm not going to lie. I yeah. think that she would really be a great character to have. We saw her in the, the TV show. She's a badass. She's really great. Yeah. A really good character with obviously really high damage output. Um, and the accuracy would be through the roof yeah. with that type of character. So um, there's definitely a place in the game for her. I think it would be a great character to have. Um, in, in one of those bounty hunter factions, for sure, no doubt. Or at least a scoundrel team. I, 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 is Fennec yeah, Shand, I mean, I think Fennec Shand was a bounty hunter. I, if I remember right in the lore, maybe she's been expelled from the guild. And so they may or may not consider her a bounty hunter. I think it might be maybe. the same. Maybe just scoundrel. Correct. Might be the same maybe for the our boy, Dad Bod Boba. Yeah, and, this is my uh, we're not getting these two out first because I feel like if it weren't for the Book of Boba Fett, these two would be a slam dunk, right? Yes. And I feel like Boba Fett would be a legendary event minimum. Um, he should. For Boba Fett. But again, same consideration. Book of Boba Fett's coming out later. Are we going to wait for these characters? Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's silly to release it now. Timing's not great. Um, it just makes zero sense. Why wouldn't you celebrate Mando season three when it comes out of the Book of Boba Fett later on? Yeah. And bring him in then. I think yeah. to me, I would love to have him now because... He's my idol, Dad Bod Boba. He's my boy. I mean, look at this guy, right? 
He's my boy. Yeah. I, I, so, I, I, all of that. you dad bod fans out there, we all relate with dad bod Boba. We're like, wow, look at our idol, man. Even even he's not immune to the to the Alfredo belly, you know? Mm -hmm. Spot on. <laughs> Absolutely. So he's definitely my boy. And I would love to have him yesterday. There's no doubt. But yeah, I, I think if they if they timed it right, which I think they're getting better with the timing now and the cadences when things fit into you know, sh movies and TV shows, it just makes sense to hold off that bit longer and release it as part of or, the show release. Or we get two versions of them. Ooh. Why not? <laughs> I mean, here's, here's the thing. We clearly got something coming big. Yeah. Like, we've yeah. got so many marquee characters that are being released right now. When CG marquee dumps on us, what are they going to do after the marquee dump, right? They're going to have gonna requirements. <laughs> some kind of requirements for something. So if yeah. not Boba, okay, if we are releasing all of these marquee characters, right, building yep. up towards some kind of legendary journey, whatever, if not Boba Fett, who? Well, that's the trick. We don't know because it's always subject to change, right? And don't forget, <laughs> these these data mines aren't always instant release. We have to remember that. They put them in the game and sometimes they're released straight away. Other times they're a bit longer. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress yet and say we're going to get six at once. I, I just don't see that. I think that they're just doing a bulk upload at the moment to get things in preparation for what they want to release over a little bit of time now. So yeah. I wouldn't look into it too much and say, okay, we're going to get six marquees at once I, I just don't see that happening i but really say, don't but say we do get six marquees over the next three weeks or so yes right yep. and they're mm -hmm. all focused on the mandalorian would yes. you not feel like okay we're definitely getting some kind of legendary character absolutely absolutely yeah, and, and because so they if, wouldn't be releasing that many characters in that time frame without having something at the end of the tree to go for to aspire to yeah. make you farm and make you want this character he is a character that you want we want a good yeah. boba boba's okay at the moment in a bounty hunter team he's not fantastic um we we want you know we want a knee rocket boba who doesn't want a knee rocket boba we've talked about and this before this is a requirement by the way if they bring us the new boba and they don't have a knee rocket ability then they yep. really missed the mark. <laughs> yeah, they did. Knee Rocket Boba. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. All so. right. So we we talked about um, we talked about uh, what legendary character could it possibly be? Well, I do have one other op option for you, and this one mm -hmm. I think is more likely. Ahsoka. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yes, please. Th this is this is legendary worthy. Um, yeah. Now, wh whether or not the characters from Mandalorian make sense for her legendary vet is another debate, but she is absolutely somebody that I think is going to come to the game because of Mandalorian. Now, she's got a show coming, but I feel like it's long enough away that they can bring us the Mandalorian version of Ahsoka and worry about other models of Ahsoka whenever her show comes. Would you agree? Yeah, well, we've got 150 million Lukes in the game, so anything's possible. Let's be honest. A couple of the focus isn't going to hurt anyone. Uh, but, yeah, again, I think it's mo more likely along the lines of another Ahsoka coming along with the neutral sabers. I think that that's a really, really cool character. It it resonated great in the show. It, it came across really, really well. It was a popular scene and a popular character that we all love. I don't think anyone would be disappointed if we got another uh, Ahsoka in the game. I, I just so don't think so. So if we did get her... How would you tag Ahsoka? She's not a Jedi, but no. there's a little bit of debate over that now because they did refer to her as the Jedi in the episode. Although, were they referring to her or were they referring to Grogu? Lots of debate there on if she's a Jedi or not right now. Uh, I think she's not personally, especially because she's still rocking those neutral sabers. Um, would she be, I don't know, a scoundrel? Would she be, I, like, where I would think, she land? I, I think you just answered your own question. This could be the first neutral character in the game that we haven't got yet. Sexy. Mm. I, can, I can dig it. So tr true neutral. True neutral. We haven't got one. We've got a tag. We know it's there. There's nothing in it. Neutral sabers. You said it. It would, it would be appropriate if Ahsoka was the first true neutral character that we got. So yeah, I just, I, that's the biggest question I have when I think about Ahsoka coming to the game is what faction would she work with? Yeah. I mean, she would, she'd be light side, I think, light side neutral, something along the lines of, of that sort of thing. Scoundrel, I wouldn't say she's a scoundrel. 
I know. Um, I'm just I'm just dreaming because I love my. She's still pretty dude. rebellious. <laughs> um, she's still there. She's still pretty rebellious. I don't don't know how that would fit in a rebel type tag. Uh, it, she is hard to you know classify. There's no doubt, but they've made tags in the past specific to other characters. There's no reason why they can't do the same thing. Uh, Galactic Republic still makes sense. Possibly that might work. Um, uh, I don't think so. The Galactic Republic do... is dissolved decades yeah, ago. Yeah, I guess so. Point. Yeah, no, you're right, I guess. Let me take that back. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, look, it would be interesting and fascinating to see how she'd be classified, but I think neutral would be the most appropriate one and the most obvious one. Uh, maybe maybe yeah. you can make her like a Galactic Legend where she's she Ooh. just works with anybody, basically. Yes. Just just yeah. make her make her a very very malleable character. Throw her where you want. Play. Theory crafting dream. All right. Next up, we've got uh, Casca Reeves. Now this is one. I, so the the first three that we shared, I think um, you could make a case for the Bo Boba and Fennec that they're gonna wait for the show. Maybe you could make the same case for Ahsoka. Casca, this one I say take to the bank almost. I just, so, yeah. <laughs> which is kind of funny. Sasha Banks. Take it to the bank, baby, because I, I, I think that the, the Bo-Katan team, tell, call me crazy, it's missing something. It's clearly missing something. Yes, could not agree more. We talked about this just before we came on today, and and, and she would be a fantastic addition. Bo-Katan's out now. There's no reason for her not to be out. Yep. Let's be honest. Uh, put her in a lineup and get a kit where she's a, a tank or a support character to Mando, Armorer, yep. and Bo-Katan. It just fits. We need the synergy there. There's still yeah. something missing. We know it is. And we put the investment into a lot of these characters already, a lot of us. I still don't think we're getting the bang for the buck yet in my thoughts. So I think Cosca Reeves is along the way. And obviously uh, her, her other sidekick too, possibly. Oh, oh, who's that? Oh, Axe. Is that his Axe. name? Oops, Axe. wrong picture. There's the picture right yep. there. <laughs> yep, my boy Axe. I think they're yeah. both going to come to round out that five. I think that makes sense. Um, it's a good fit. Um, again, all Mandalorians. We know that the Mandalorians are going to be working really closely together into season three yep. uh, of Mandalorians. So why would they not have that synergy there? I think that again, that that would work quite well, and, and it'd be a, a really interesting fit. One of them as a tank, one of them as a support. Round them out, but try and get that damage output through Mando. That's what we want. Um, I just don't think there's enough damage output yet. Definitely, Bo-Katan's added a little bit more but I think that there's still more that could be discovered there and really boosted. I think it needs it. There's more. I think there's more, and I think both of these characters are are very likely to come. And I could really see Sasha Banks' as a Casca being a tank. I think it just makes sense. You know, she's a UFC, yes. former UFC fighter, right? So uh, tank it up, baby. Tank it up. Beast mode. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Spot on. Totally agree. All right, so uh, that rounds out our discussion on Mando heroes. Let me know what other heroes you guys want to see joining this game. Of course, uh, notably, we did not uh, talk about any characters that could be rounding out that Moff Gideon team, which I still think there's a lot that could come there. We're missing a support character, um, so you could probably take one of those to the bank as well. So let's talk about hard mode for uh, Conquest. Now, I just want to say on a personal level, my, my personal review is very very positive i feel like this is very much what i've been hoping for in this game it's content that i've been going into every day i've still got things to do right now um i might be finishing it a little faster than i thought i would on hard mode um and my concern is heinze that with my roster i'm only just over six million right mm -hmm. so i've got a pretty built out roster but there's a lot of you know a lot of people above me, right? And yes. if I'm able to max this out, which I will max it out, it's just a matter of time. I just have some more feats I need to figure out that I'm just waiting on my energy for. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to get that max crate. And so I can only imagine how easier it was for somebody in the 7 million, 8 million range to beat this. So my question for you, Heinze, is do you think whales um, are disappointed with the, dif with the, ch the lack of challenge here? Or do you think that they're happy? I think the challenge is there. I, I think as as we know, they designed this whole uh, format around being easy to chop and change and implement different factors pretty easily. It's yeah. a it's the closest thing to what they would term a, again a more of a plug and play type event that they can mold and shape into many different ways. I think we'll get a, a challenge tier style version mm. coming at some challenge point. Tier. I they like that and, word. 
Challenge. They do. But keep in mind, don't forget, all of this is exhibition at the moment. The first two, we've, this is only our second one. Yeah. And they said yeah. the first ones were going to be exhibition. And they were going to be looking at those after these and reviewing them and making appropriate changes. So whilst this one may be easier for some, they might obviously look at it and go, yep, we understand that. So let's tweak a few things in the last two sectors just to make it that little bit more challenging. And I think that that yeah. would make a difference. I don't think they need to reintroduce another tier yet. I think maybe if they adjust this one here near the end game, that makes more sense to me. Um, I've been having a fun with a lot of the data discs. I'm not oh, going to lie. Yeah. They yeah. have been, oh, they have been absolutely brilliant. And I think a lot of those have made probably this type of event that little bit easier because we've got our head around a lot of them pretty quickly. Thanks to a lot of geniuses out there and they put some ideas together and concepts that helped us work out what worked well and what didn't pretty quick. Uh, so I think there's definitely some more work that's going to be done. I think that's obvious. They said that it's exhibition still. This isn't the final product. They'll make the changes and we'll see how that plays out. But overall, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I've picked it up when I finished doing my dailies. Uh, I've been working away at it when I had a bit of spare time. Um, not on the toilet. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Not on the toilet. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, it, it's been a lot of fun. It really has. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed the, the, the difficulty level. It's. It, I think it's pretty close. I don't think many people are disappointed and gone yeah. in going, oh, my God, really? Like, everyone's been engaging in it. I think everyone's definitely um, found some challenge to it. Uh, whether it's too much or, you know, a little bit. It's definitely, I, I think overall, as you said, it's all positive. I haven't seen too many complaints Good. of people finding it difficult at this stage. So we'll wait and see if they make changes from there. Good. Uh, that, and that's what I like to hear. Uh, that's my, my only question in my mind is I, I personally, when they announced it, I was thinking, all right, I'm probably not going to be able to beat this hard mode all the way through. So I'm a little bit surprised that I was able to do it. Um, and pleased honestly on an individual level it just makes me wonder if the challenge um is there for the whales and it sounds like it sounds like for a lot of people it still is even if it might be a little i'll be a little bit easier uh the data discs definitely do uh, a lot of work i'm rocking booming voice and uh, massively overpowered right now it's a pretty fun combo let me just uh let me just throw that out there <laughs> yeah no so, absolutely it's good i've stuff. been having fun with the deployable cooling system we'll, we'll talk about that one in the next video as well i've been having a lot of fun what you know just getting those cooldowns up and running uh, yoda, yoda and vader just, love that one uh moff gideon has loved deployable cooling system let me tell you we just yeah. shut them down it's been beautiful it really has <laughs> All right, really good stuff. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Overall, I think Conquest is still the best thing that we've got in this game in a very long time. I think they nailed it. Um, there may, may be some tweaks needed here and there, but by and large, I don't want to see them tweak too much because uh, it's it's not broken, so don't try to fix it too much. So, all right, we're going to get jump over. We got another half of Rogue Actions over on Heinze's channel. Be sure to jump over there, my friends. And as always, my brothers, don't forget... Shut up, dude. The video's over. Oh.